This is Humber Library's APA in Minutes. This video will show you the basics of citing an online image and other visual works in APA format so that you end up with a citation that looks like this. For simplicity and to match the APA style guide, in this video we will refer to online images as visual works. Visual works can include photographs, paintings, infographics, and more. Decorative images, such as clip art and stock photographs, which are often used in PowerPoints and presentations, may require an attribution, but do not require APA citation. If you're looking for help with finding, using, and attributing online images for decorative purposes, visit our guide linked in the description. To make a reference list citation for a visual work found online, you will need the author, artist, company, or brand that created the work, the year it was created, the title, the type of work, for example, a photograph or map, the website name, and the URL. Sometimes it may be difficult to find all of this information. Be sure to look carefully throughout the website. Begin with the author's last name, comma, an initial. If the author is an organization or company, use the full name. After the name, add a period. The year is next in parentheses and followed by a period. Now add the title in italics. In APA, capitalize the first letter of the title and subtitle and capitalize any proper nouns. In square brackets, identify the type of visual work. Follow with a period. Then include the website name, that is, the place where the visual work was published on the web. Add a period. And follow with the URL. This is your APA citation for an online visual work. But what about citing an image with missing information? If you can't identify the creator of the visual work, move the title and type of work to the beginning of the citation followed by the date, the website name, and the URL. If you're unable to find a date for when the visual work was created or published, substitute N period D period for the date. Include in parentheses. Follow with a period. If the visual work has no title, and you're unsure of the type of work, APA style recommends that you briefly describe the visual work in place of the title. If you're discussing or analyzing a visual work in your assignment, you'll need to include an in-text citation. How you include the in-text citation depends on whether you insert or reproduce the image in your work or not. Let's look at both scenarios. If you've inserted or reproduced the image within your assignment, APA style requires the visual work be labeled as a figure like this. Start by adding the word figure in bold above the visual work. Then add a number in bold according to the order in which this figure appears in the text. For example, figure one if this is the first figure in the text. On the next line down, put the title of the figure in italics. The title can be the same as the visual work or a general description. Next, include the visual work itself. Below the visual work, add the word note in italics followed with a period. Add any details that cannot be understood from the image itself as well as any copyright information. Instead of using the traditional in-text citation in parentheses, Refer to the visual work in the text by referring to the figure. For example, the scratched archival paper in Figure 1 evokes the layers of identity explored in Brewster's work. When referring to a visual work that isn't reproduced in your paper, add the creator's last name. This could be an artist, company, or brand. Add a comma and the date of publication. Include in parentheses and follow with a period. 
regardless of the presence of the image in your assignment, your reference list will be on its own page at the end of your paper and will contain the full citation information. Make sure to put your citations in alphabetical order. Don't forget to double space and indent after the first line. For more information and support with APA, book an appointment with the Writing Center, consult the OWL at Purdue, or refer to the APA resources available at Humber Libraries.